Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I will uh, show you how you can de-click a Helios uh, 44M uh, 2 uh, Aperture True uh, and it's a 58mm is the classic um, Russian uh, Helios which is really good for uh, taking different pictures and some filmmakers they also use it for the very nice bouquet it makes but when working with video you have the uh, you will probably in some cases many cases maybe recording directly from the microphone and uh, if you do so uh, well and you uh, yeah you Take some video and you will change the aperture it will have this click every single time you change it and it will of course come on the video too so uh, how can we come around this uh, yeah we can actually de-click it and it's not that hard it's actually right quite easy if you have some um, yeah tools that's the only thing we will need. It's a 2.5 millimeter flathead screwdriver and it's a pointy tweezer that can be very handy in this case. So what I will do is actually um, unscrew the three screws here on the back and uh, take out the two springs and the two steel bolts, one on each side here. So we will do that. Before we do so, set the um, lever here. It says on A, but we have to set it on M. That's our starting thing. Um, and uh, also set the, the aperture ring till 2. Aperture 2, but that we will actually do so all the way over there. And the last thing, we also need to set the focus to, yeah. <laughs> so, um, we'll set the focus to infinity here. Well, that was, <laughs> so you can see. That's it. That's our starting point. And then we will unscrew the three screws. It will say this one, this one, and this one. And uh, the last thing is <laughs> there is a, uh, there is, I mentioned the two steel ball, but there is one something around here. Uh, close to the index and 180 degree on the other side somewhere around here um, so when unscrew the um, the aperture uh, I mean the name the back yeah the mount um, we should keep a, a good hand I mean like this holding on it uh, the lens and unscrew the three screws. Uh, it's important because when we turn it over and take off the mount we just have to have two fingers here uh, to keep the aperture ring on. If not you well the two steel balls will probably disappear or one of them so but uh, yeah let's get into it it's not that hard and uh, just to mention one important thing when we do this uh, mod uh, or modification of the lens it's not at all destroyed we can always come back to normal just uh, keep the two steel ball and the two springs in a small plastic bag right on uh, what it is and then you can always put them in again. Now, 
keep uh, fingers on here and uh, we will just lift off the uh, the mount on the back and just to see here uh, if we look closer to how it is you can see the little fork there this little uh, gap notch is actually going into the pin here which is the aperture if we move the aperture ring to something 16 or so so you can see it's actually possible to move it by the by the the pin in here but we will just set it to aperture 2 now looking into it here uh, we can actually see there is there are some notches here for the aperture ring here and there is all of them from for the every click you can possibly see them here so there is one two three four five clicks um, and there is also a, also no it's actually one two three four five six seven it's because there is half click as you can see here when you move it all up to 16 um, it's not there is nothing between 16 and 11 but between 11 and 8 and uh, 5 6 and uh, between 5 6 and 4 and between 4 and 2.8 2.8 between 2.8 and 2 and then we came to aperture 2 now um, we will simply take them off so one is here steel ball and the other is over here so have a good finger I mean good hand so you just lift out one just very slightly little and keep your hand over it and also on the other side so you can take them out they will not just disappear I mean they also stick on to the uh, to the hole here and because I have given them some small amount of grease but here you can see them the notches for the click here so um, what I will do I will simply just take out the two steel ball and also the tiny spring here you can see it's tiny so keep them in a safe place and the other one and the last spring hopefully come out so that's it I mean that is really that's it so I could just uh, put the aperture ring on here and see how sticky is it uh, and it's actually well it's not that uh, sticky I would like it uh, more soft so what I will gonna do is actually give it some grease in here so with a little help from a um, a cotton bud we can just take a little, little of the grease away uh, well you could also just clean the aperture ring well I have already done it but um, it doesn't really matter so much but we will just take it away So away with that. Now that's it. 
how stiff is it in here we can move this well it's a bit stiff in here uh, I don't know exactly why but you could also take out the the um, aperture the inner aperture ring and um, we can just do so lift it out you will not at all damage the lens always put it in again so that's it and uh, we could give it some grease around here um, and it seems actually to be a little dry so I will just give it a little um, use a curtain butt and uh, simply give it some liquid molly uh, LM50 just a little amount doesn't have to be much we'll spread it so there and also the thin area here needs some attention and also the two pins here so it will make it more easy to move it uh, over the the two pins down here so and then put it on again over the two pins and there Wow, that's good, really good. Yeah, it will make it very good. That's it. And then the same thing for the aperture ring. Just a little amount. We can add in here to make it more soft too. To actually move so there we can also give the two notch here uh, no it shouldn't be necessary but well I will do it anyway now there is no click so <laughs> I think we'll be fine now locate the the aperture 2 and the pin here so we can just pop the the index mark we can just pop it over here and over the two pins we you can see here there and the other one wow it feels good really good so without any click uh, it's possible to actually uh, move the aperture ring with no click so that's it so we set the I mean close the aperture to fully closed and uh, it will make it easier to put the back the mount on again which we can see here hopefully to get uh, on the little pin and just put it over so that was it so I can just assemble the lens again I mean that was easy catch the holes just make sure you can yeah it works oh come on so Just uh, move the aperture ring. Wow, feels good. 
really soft and, and nice and remember you can always switch it back to normal mode uh, with the click if you want to sell it or somebody else want the click um, I mean I have not at all destroyed the lens and of course if I have done it well it's my own lens so uh, and I will not sell it maybe someone do want to do that but uh, well so it is that's it and we can freely move it without any click the focusing ring works as a shoot the aperture pin here on the back also works as it should if we set it to 16 so you can see it's still um, it's still working but just without the click so that's it uh, wow that's fine so that's uh, that was actually all for me little this little tutorial Hope you can use the info about this lens and uh, see you next time with a different thing, <laughs> lens or camera, that's all, bye bye.